It is our largest collider in the world. Behind me is a place that could be on the verge of solving one of the biggest mysteries in the universe. Imagine our universe's strongest magnetic field keeping a secret. These elusive particles were predicted by fancy theories in particle physics. Yet, despite a century of cosmic exploration and particle collider experiments, they remain mysteriously hidden. Now popularly called the missing magnetic monopoles, these mysterious particles are still playing hide-and-seek, resulting in an intriguing world where theoretical predictions clash with the cosmic reality. However, during CERN's pursuit of these particles, their experiments produced an entirely unforeseen result, sending shockwaves through the international scientific community. Have long-standing theoretical ideas been challenged by the revelations of the Collider? Or could the pursuit of magnetic monopoles reveal a universe-altering truth? Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery behind why these tiny magnets are so good at staying hidden and just what happened when the Large Hadron Collider went into action. Number 1. Chasing the Elusive Magnetic Monopoles Throughout the vast reaches of the universe, scientists have probed the most intense magnetic fields ever observed, seeking elusive entities called magnetic monopoles. These hypothetical particles theorized to possess just one magnetic pole, either a north or a south, have evaded detection despite careful calculations and predictions that transcend our standard understanding of particle physics. In our known experience, every magnet we encounter manifests with two poles, typically labeled the north and south poles, each bearing opposing magnetic charges. Yet, in the theoretical realms of some models of the universe, the existence of these singular pole particles, the magnetic monopoles, is proposed. Now why does this matter? Well, if these mysterious monopoles were to appear, they might help us understand why electric charge comes in specific set amounts. The quest for magnetic monopoles has been an enduring pursuit spanning over a century, with scientists combing through space and conducting high-energy particle collisions within colossal accelerators like those found in particle colliders. Despite such tireless endeavors, these magnetic monopoles have escaped detection in both cosmic terrains and controlled experiments. However, amidst these persistent searches, an unexpected turn of events unfolded during experiments conducted at CERN. While researchers were diligently seeking traces of these elusive monopoles, the outcomes of their experiments yielded an entirely unforeseen revelation. This unexpected discovery echoed throughout the global scientific community, surprising and captivating researchers worldwide. But how, you ask? That's thanks to the Large Hadron Collider. Numway 2. Navigating particle trajectories with magnificent magnets. You see, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operates at an impressive energy of 6.5 tera electron volts per beam where trillions of particles zoom around a 27-kilometer tunnel at a mind-blowing rate of 11,145 circuits every second. But before they enter this massive collider, these particles are subjected to a complex acceleration process involving a series of interconnected linear and circular accelerators. Once these particles reach their maximum speed within one part of the accelerator chain, they're seamlessly propelled into the next stage without any additional force. Without these careful accelerations, the particles would simply disperse and continue in a straight line, losing the momentum needed for their collisions. Here's the intriguing aspect. To guide these particles along their complex trajectories without losing speed, over 50 different types of magnets are strategically placed throughout the LHC. All the magnets in the LHC operate as electromagnets, including the main dipoles responsible for generating immensely powerful 8.3 Tesla magnetic fields, about 100,000 times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. These electromagnetic fields are produced by a current of 11,080 amperes running through superconducting coils. The use of superconducting materials allows these high currents to flow without any loss of energy due to electrical resistance. Among the vast array of magnets, the lattice magnets play a crucial role in manipulating the trajectory of particles. These thousands of lattice magnets are vital for maintaining the stability and precise alignment of the particle beam. However, 
The most complicated components of the LHC are the dipole magnets. There are 1,032 main dipoles, each a whopping 15 meters long and weighing a hefty 35 tons. These colossal magnets are responsible for bending the paths of the particles. The strength of these dipole magnets enables the particles to navigate tighter turns, crucial for maintaining the desired trajectory within the collider. Interestingly, the design and power of these magnets are so extraordinary that if conventional magnets were used instead of the superconducting ones in the 27-kilometer LHC, the accelerator would have to stretch a colossal 120 kilometers to achieve the same energy levels. However, this is where things become more intriguing. Number 3. LHC's Magnetic Realm and Earth's Watchful Shield In a fascinating turn of events, just days after the Large Hadron Collider resumed operations, researchers embarked on an exploration for magnetic monopoles, theorized to be produced by a phenomenon known as the Schwinger Effect. This effect hypothesized that exceptionally potent magnetic fields could generate magnetic particles and their corresponding antiparticles. Utilizing the LHC's immense power, researchers collided two beams of lead particles at extraordinary speeds, generating the most powerful magnetic field ever measured, an astonishing 1016 Tesla. To put this into perspective, this magnetic field surpassed typical fridge magnets by a shocking 2 billion times and exceeded magnetar fields, highly magnetized neutron stars, by a staggering 100,000 times. The intensity of this magnetic field offered unprecedented sensitivity in the hunt for magnetic monopoles. Igor Ostrovsky from the University of Alabama noted, Of the searches for magnetic monopoles at accelerators, we are the most sensitive. The stronger the magnetic field, the more and heavier monopoles we can theoretically produce. However, despite the monumental magnetic field strength and the high expectations, the researchers encountered an unexpected outcome. They found no evidence of magnetic monopoles. This absence provided crucial insights, setting stringent limits on the potential mass of these elusive particles, indicating that they cannot be lighter than 70 times the mass of a proton. Yet, following these experiments, an intriguing announcement emerged from the organization. They reported the detection of a fracture in Earth's magnetic field, which remained open for 14 hours. Social media buzzed with speculation, especially as this occurrence coincided with the time of these unusual experiments at the LHC. Some began speculating about the possibility of the collider inadvertently opening a portal or doorway to something otherworldly. However, scientists swiftly reassured the public that this rupture in Earth's magnetic field posed no immediate threat. Although open, it allowed the passage of particularly intense solar winds, a phenomenon observed occasionally and unrelated to the LHC experiments. Earth's magnetic field is a silent guardian, quietly working behind the scenes to safeguard our planet in ways we might not often discuss in everyday conversation. Beyond merely orienting our compass needles, this magnetic shield plays a crucial role in maintaining life's habitability by deflecting potentially harmful solar winds that could otherwise jeopardize our ozone layer. While it might not be a frequent topic of discussion, the significance of the Earth's magnetic field in sustaining life cannot be overstated. NASA scientists emphasize the importance of studying solar winds, as these energetic outbursts have the potential to wreak havoc by damaging satellites and causing widespread power disruptions, leading to citywide blackouts. But how did this recent crack in the magnetic field come to be? Interestingly, this breach was triggered by a rare occurrence known as a co-rotating interaction region, CIR, originating from the Sun. CIRs are expansive plasma structures formed when fast-moving and slow-moving streams of solar wind collide within the heliosphere the area surrounding the sun containing its magnetic field and solar winds. Coronal mass ejections, ejected from the sun, can be associated with these co-rotating interaction regions, leading to turbulent space weather. Sometimes, these interactions result in stunning auroras visible in our skies. One such event, occurring on July 7th, led to a prolonged G1 geomagnetic storm, as indicated by experts from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. 
During this particular event, a coronal mass ejection was embedded within the solar wind preceding the co-rotating interaction region, contributing to the impact on Earth's magnetic field. Number 4. Earth's Shield and the South Atlantic Anomaly The emergence of cracks in Earth's magnetic field isn't unusual. In fact, these fissures are relatively common occurrences. Ordinarily, these breaches in the magnetic shield are transient, swiftly opening and closing. However, recent observations have shown that some of these breaches can linger open for extended periods, deviating from our typical understanding. A recent anomaly detected by NASA has prompted active monitoring of the Earth's magnetic field. An unsettling revelation emerged as measurements indicated a significant decline in magnetic intensity, rendering the field notably less magnetic than expected. This perplexing occurrence has been centered over an expanse spanning South America and Southwest Africa, known for years as the South Atlantic Anomaly. This area of reduced magnetic strength, the South Atlantic Anomaly, hasn't directly affected life on Earth. However, it holds substantial implications for spacecraft navigating Earth's orbit. With the magnetic field weakening, these spacecraft, orbiting at lower altitudes, inevitably traverse this anomaly. The concern arises from the vulnerability of these satellites to charged particles emitted by the sun. When spacecraft pass through the South Atlantic anomaly during periods of reduced magnetic field strength, disruptions in their onboard technology can occur. High energy charged protons from solar emissions can induce short circuiting, malfunctions, and various other technical issues, impacting the functionality of the satellites. Recent reports from scientists shed light on approximately 17 eruptions detected in a specific area of the sun, with two of these flares hurtling toward Earth at astonishing speeds of nearly 2 million miles per hour. These solar flares, unleashed from the sun's surface, carry a barrage of charged particles posing a heightened risk to spacecraft passing through the vulnerable South Atlantic anomaly. The implications of these solar events and the weakened magnetic field on space technology underscore the significance of continuous monitoring and understanding of Earth's magnetic shield. Such insights are crucial for safeguarding our satellite infrastructure and mitigating potential disruptions caused by intensified solar activity impacting Earth's magnetic environment. Number 5. Unveiling the Magnetic Mysteries of Solar Flares Understanding the Sun involves diving into the drama of its most intense events, coronal mass ejections and solar flares. Astronomers keep a vigilant watch on CMEs because these eruptions pack a punch, capable of triggering power outages and disrupting communication networks in just moments. A stark example occurred when SpaceX lost 40 satellites shortly after their launch in early 2022 due to a geomagnetic storm, emphasizing the need for astronomers to take preventive measures against these solar events. Among the sun's intriguing features are sunspots, recognized for their robust magnetic fields and ability to release bursts of radiation known as solar flares. These spots appear as darker patches on the sun's surface because they're relatively cooler than the surrounding area. Although their temperatures still soar to around 6,500 degrees Fahrenheit, the paradox of their appearance despite high temperatures arises from their formation in regions with incredibly strong magnetic fields. These fields act as barriers, blocking some of the sun's heat from reaching the surface of these spots. Lately, R2975, one of these sunspots, has been notably active, indicating increased solar activity. Solar flares which are unleashed from these sunspots typically take about 15 to 18 hours to travel from the sun to Earth. These flares, like cosmic tsunamis, carry a potent mix of energy and particles, potentially impacting our planet's magnetic field and causing disturbances in various technological systems. Recently, an intense solar storm was triggered by a swift wave generated by a fast-moving flare that overtook a slower one. This collision of solar phenomena caused a magnetic storm, setting the stage for a breathtaking natural spectacle, the Northern Lights. When this magnetic storm collided with the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere, 
it sparked a mesmerizing display of lights. People in the northern states, extending from Iowa to Oregon, were treated to this ethereal light show. However, while this particular solar storm treated sky gazers to a stunning visual treat, larger solar storms can wield destructive power. According to the Space Weather Prediction Center, G3 storms, more severe solar disturbances, have the potential to cause problems in radio and satellite navigation systems. These storms can disrupt low-frequency radio signals and intermittently affect satellite navigation, causing disturbances in communication systems. The ramifications of a colossal G3 storm could be even more severe, with predictions indicating the possibility of a global internet outage. Such an event could significantly impact our interconnected digital world, underscoring the vulnerability of our technological infrastructure to solar disturbances. Historically, the most colossal solar storm documented occurred during the Carrington event in 1859. This storm unleashed a barrage of solar particles that wreaked havoc on telegraph systems worldwide. Additionally, it generated auroras so brilliant that they outshone the full moon, painting the night sky with spectacular displays of light. Despite the awe-inspiring beauty of these celestial events, the potential for destruction poses a considerable threat. Scientists acknowledge that much remains unknown about these solar storms and their potential impacts. Let us know your thoughts about the recent revelations at CERN.